this is for FX16. We, uh, we have today uh, Mr. Vinod Silvam, the uh, Tamil Nadu uh, uh, BJP, the Bharat Janata Party uh, Youth Wing uh, head. And uh, I, uh, hello Mr. Vinod, I would like to uh, start by uh, not wasting much time. I would like to ask you a few questions, uh, very few questions though. Uh, we'll start off with uh, the demonetization. Uh, the, the Prime Minister's deadline uh, ended, uh, say about, it's, it's been four months since the Prime Minister's deadline ended. and. Uh, uh, what do you think is the change uh, that has come over this country? Uh, has it been for the good and if so, what? Naturally, it is a move which was very drastic, which needed a leader like um, Sri Narendra Modi to take because it is not something which any other Prime Minister in uh, today's date and time would have thought of making. And uh, the only evidence that the move has been welcomed by people of all generations by people of uh, all sections of the society is the outcome of the election results which have happened ever since the demonetization happened. Let it be um, Uttar Pradesh or Uttarakhand or Manipur or Goa. Um, let's take the elections in Mumbai, the um, um, uh, municipality elections which happened all across uh, Maharashtra, which is a uh, state which is very active in the economic circuit, which uh, contributes a lot to the economy of the country and uh, the recently concluded M MCD. So all these elections have reflected the mood of the people. We are obviously aware of all the, uh, the critics who were talking about the long uh, queues which were lined up above, uh, outside the banks and the ATMs and uh, how this might have a negative impact on the uh, government and the uh, stand of the government. But uh, people have instead chose to stand in long queues in the elections and they have given the green signal, they have uh, greeted the Prime Minister's move by um, voting for the BJP in all the recently controlled elections and they have very much accepted the move of the government. Now, speaking about, since you spoke about the mandate, yeah, we should st I should start by uh, congratulating you for the spectacular performance that, you, uh, that uh, your party posted uh, in the recent uh, elections to the uh, UP uh, uh, state and the other states of, uh, say, uh, Goa, Manipur, etc., Uttarakhand, uh, uh, to be precise. Uh, uh, now, uh, what do you think, uh, do you really, uh, uh, are, are you trying to say that uh, the demonetization was, uh, was the real reason why people uh, went to vote and gave the mandate, especially in a state uh, as large as UP, uh, Uttar Pradesh, where uh, the, the problems of the people uh, are diverse, as much as the population is. So, uh, are you trying to say that demonetization was the real reason why you had uh, such a solid mandate coming in? Demonetization is one of the many reasons which the government um, for the people to have voted this particular party uh, to power in all these states. Of course, if you would uh, consider a state like Uttar Pradesh, um, I would feel that the various sections of the society, uh, the, especially the sections which have been marginalized, and um, if you take the uh, two political parties which have been predominant there, they have gone on an, uh, a communi community war footing rather than uh, ensuring a government which has been able to provide social security to all the sections alike. So people believe that BJP is the only alternative which will be able to take the interest of all the sections of the society, all the communities, all the religions into one fold and provide a government which is truly secular, which truly takes care of the uh, various sections and the last 30 days of um, the Chief Minister Mr. Yogi's governance has very much proved that he is very much determined to um, uh, break the barriers of uh, uh, community and caste and uh, backwardness and he, is, he wants to bring everyone on the same platform. So BJP is proving that time and again and that is probably the only reason that people have chosen to give this unique mandate to BJP. I mean which is the last time uh, Uttar Pradesh had a party winning over, the, over, the, over 300 seats in an assembly election. So if people of such a large state which is almost the size of uh, the uh, 10th or 11th largest country in the world is willing to give such a mandate, so it is very evident what the uh, mood of the people in uh, today's uh, uh, scenario is.
And yes, so you, uh, having said that, you've also your party has also extended its uh, uh, its its victory to the uh, recently concluded uh, in, uh, the uh, Delhi uh, MCD uh, elections. Uh, now, uh, w uh, you, you know, Mr. Kejriwal has been saying, um, and uh, a few Congress leaders have also been voicing this concern that there uh, there is an element of uh, uh, this this f uh, tampering of the EVMs, uh, which which they uh, ascribe or uh, which they uh, uh, say is the main reason why uh, BJP has been able to, uh, um, you know, bring out this mandate. So they they feel that this was uh, conjured by the BJP. What is your take on it? When there is no ammunition to fire anymore, you end up um, becoming a loose cannon and giving states a statement like this. And uh, Arvind Kejriwal, Kejriwal is not new to these stunts. He has been time and again proving himself to be giving such. Um, uh, baseless statements and um, he has projected himself as a, a, a piece of criticization amongst all sections of the society. Um, Amadmi party has not been able to keep anyone happy in its last two years of governance and that has become evident in the MCD. Uh, for a political party to break the incumbency factor and come to power for the third time consecutively, especially in the corporations, in the local body where um, every single citizen is affected. MCD and corporation elections are very important. Uh, it is what reaches the uh, common man. So if a party can win with such a large mandate, it was not a scrape through victory. If a party can win with such a large mandate, if they can gain one, one third of the, uh, so two third of the votes in an election, uh, to win the MCD again, then it proves the popularity of the party. Only a party which has performed and proved itself can come back to power for the third consecutive time and that is what has happened in the MCD. Plus, I would also like to indicate when we are complaining about the election commission and EVMs being tampered, they should also take into consideration that uh, the election commission is an autonomous body and the uh, person who is presiding over the election commission, Mr. Uh, uh, Najib has not been appointed by the uh, today's BJP government. He was in fact appointed um, by the previous Congress government. So can I say Congress is the one who is tampering or playing with all these EVMs? Is that a, a fair statement for, to be given from my end? But it would not be. It is not something responsible for me to say that. When you lose, you should be a leader. A good leader should be in a position to accept the victory of the other and your defeat and fight for the next step. Instead, giving statements of this sort is only going to lower his stature even more in the future. Thank you, Mr. Vinod. It was so nice of you to have come uh, on, on the studio. Thanks a lot. Thank you.